A community afraid. That's Big Spring, Texas. Webb Air Force Base is the area's second largest employer. Counting dependents, every fourth resident out of Big Spring's population of 30,000 is connected with the air base. Old Senate office building. The Big Spring Chamber of Commerce has initiated a letter writing campaign and thousands of letters have poured in from Big Spring oh, and nearby Midland and Odessa. They'll be forwarded to congressional leaders, then on to President Ford. They express the fear residents feel and their anger. I don't see why they can't close, uh, if they have to close one of the bases, why they can't close it in a larger town where it wouldn't hurt the economy as bad. Well, I figure about 70% of our business would be affected by the closure of Webb. Would that mean that eventually your business would have to close? Hopefully not. Uh, it's a little early to say. The main thing that bothers me is the school system. A lot of the kids will be going and the teachers. And I'm employed by the state hospital and a lot of nurses will be leaving and over half of the employee population out there are from the base or dependents. The reason Webb is being considered for closing isn't tough to understand. With shrinking defense appropriations, the closing is part of the Pentagon's economic cutbacks expected to save the Defense Department up to $150 million annually. Several bases are tagged for possible closings and cutbacks, but that doesn't cheer the folks at Big Spring. Still, the wing commander at Webb, Colonel Robert Owens, says the responsibility for closing bases rests with the American public. The body politic of American people has got to decide the pros and cons, and and whether uh, we want to uh, maintain, it's uh, in the national interest, to maintain a, a base at uh, Big Spring, Texas. It'll be known by this summer if Webb is to close, if 2,500 people are to be out of work, if 500 houses are to stand empty, if some businesses are to be wiped out. And it will be known, possibly, if national defense cutbacks are more than some communities can stand. Tracy Rowlett, Channel 8 News.